All right, welcome back to Beer Clock and Boozy Play. Did it work? Did it work? Did what work? Yeah. I clapped. Did you hear it? <laughs> no, I don't think I did. I was probably just talking over it, though. Damn it. <laughs> um, okay, um, so a little bit of behind-the-scenes Beer Clock information. Uh, I did go pee, and as I like to say, my onesie turned into a twosie, so <laughs> took care of a little bit of extra business while I was on there. Now, I'm actually really glad I did, though, because I did my favorite thing to do while I'm excreting, <laughs> is uh, I was scrolling through Twitter, and I saw something that I absolutely want to talk about with you. Um, the post was... Uh, basically asking people to share a piece of children's media that scared the heck out of them um in the spirit of halloween basically so like what's like a, sh a tv show or a movie or a cartoon or something that was made for kids but scared the crap out of you uh i have when some i was also a kid or now that i'm an adult uh, when you were a kid, but it may still scare you as an adult. Oh, wow. Yeah, I guess I was going to say, like, Teletubbies always kind of freak me out. <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, just the way, I mean, just, you know, they're just unsettling to look at. Like, the I flaming baby's the head coming up over the horizon. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was, but, like, I wasn't, like, afraid of it. And then, I guess, like, as a kid, I can't think of something that was, that was made for kids that... I don't know, Goosebumps, maybe? Does that count? Yeah, that would count. Okay. See, that's kind of more yeah, in the vein of what I'm stories to tell in the dark. That was the, okay, are you talking about the book? The or, book, Okay, yeah. the book, yeah. Because the book, I, I remember, I, I don't think I ever read that one, actually, but um, I remember a lot of people saying that, yeah, that was pretty freaky stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, the Brave Little Toaster. Really? Did you ever watch that? Yeah. There was some freaky shit in that movie. Um, I mean, it's a little darker, but I mean, so, I mean, some of those animation movies in that time period were like all kind of like that, like Five Will Goes West, or not Five Will Goes West, uh, an American Tale. Like, uh -huh. there's, kind of, there's some darker scenes in that movie, and All Dogs Go to Heaven. There's some, I mean, dogs die in it by like gangsters. <laughs> you know. gangster dogs gangster capping dogs. other dogs yeah <laughs> we're rolling these motherfuckers <laughs> um yeah. well no it's funny because like i went through the first thing that popped into my head was the brave little toaster um and uh movie, so i scrolled through the comments to see if that was in there and it was like literally one of the top three things that was commented and then I scrolled through the comments and there was like a bunch of other people that felt the same way. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Secret of Nim also had, do you ever watch Secret of oh, Nim? Oh yeah. Yeah. I loved that movie, but it still scared the bejeebers out of me. Uh, there, there was some dark freaky, crystal? free dark. I've never seen the dark crystal. Um, I think my parents wouldn't let me watch that because I think it seemed a little too magic-y. And you know, I've told you my family's pretty religious and stuff, and they like weren't really into that kind of stuff. Um, but that's probably why I wasn't allowed to watch that one. Um, or Labyrinth because of David Bowie's erect cock or whatever. In that <laughs> erect cock. <laughs> I think erect cock is just a really funny phrase. So I had to say it just purely. I think that. it's but known, it's being always referred to as the bulge. The bulge. Yeah, it's not actually erect. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, spoiler alert. Uh, don't go hey rent. girls, it's purple sweatpants season. <laughs> don't go down to Blockbuster and rent Labyrinth thinking you're going to get to see David Bowie schlong or anything. Erect cock. <laughs> But uh, you do see the bulge, though, plenty. <laughs> um, this is <laughs> off topic. Bulges are your thing. It's the movie for you. This is... Oh, shit. I'm not doing a very good job dodging. Uh, this is off topic, but uh, I, uh, I like to watch... Or not maybe not watch, but I like to have movies or something on when I'm doing, like, housework. 
So like yeah. you know, cleaning up shit or whatever. Like so I'll uh, put a movie on or something just so I have something to listen to or whatever. You know, I'm home alone. It keeps me company. It keeps me from getting scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, but no. Anyway, so I put a movie on. No, anyway, I, I got to. I got to. Say, no, I'm not. No, I totally do get scared. No, but um, <laughs> I, for some reason, I was like, you know what? I haven't watched the movie Watchmen in a while. Have you seen Watchmen? Oh, it's one of my favorites. It's a great movie. Um, yeah. But like, <laughs> I got a little bit into it, and I'm like, good lord, I forgot how much of this movie is like glowing blue penis. Um, it's not that much. Uh, it's plenty. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying it's not in there, but everybody's like always harps on that, and it's like okay, like yes, it's in like a scene for like a couple seconds. Here oh there, bullshit! But... That is not true. I'm gonna go back in time. I'm gonna rewatch Watchmen, and I'm gonna get I'm a gonna stopwatch. Make you focus on the part, and, I, and I'm gonna do nothing but stare at Doctor Manhattan's penis, uh, and uh, clock and exactly it. how long that that thing is on screen, staring at me, laughing at me, laughing, uh, <laughs> helping me see in the dark. <laughs> oh man, yeah, yeah, seriously, helping you see in the dark. Yeah, that, that guy, he like he gets up in the middle of the night. And uh, he doesn't need any kind of nightlight. He just pulls out his penis and he's like, I can see everything. <laughs> hey, well, you know what? I mean, that sounds like a pretty cool thing to have. I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> a glowing penis. Actually, I would be okay with that. Yeah, right? Seems like it would have way more positives than negatives. Leave a comment if you'd appreciate having a glowing penis. <laughs> <laughs> my assassin days would be over yeah, oh really <laughs> <laughs> look i got two eggs here we got the golem turret egg and the flying golem egg they're both shit but we're gonna take them uh let's see here i gotta get rid of some more crap uh so i can make room for these bad boys boy the mystery boxes yeah um uh, generally the mystery boxes have good stuff in them it's not necessarily going to be like go write a letter to your mom about it stuff but like what it's good box? stuff very good reference adam no sarcasm <laughs> uh i think i'm just gonna get out of here actually well nah, let's go to one more room i thought that was a good reference <laughs> I'm, I'm just giving you crap <laughs> Dude, that movie was freaky. Oh shit! And I died. I'm, I, good lord, guys. <laughs> I'm I'm spending too much time trying to think of funny stuff to say, and not enough time just playing the game. <laughs> and I lost all my eggs too. <laughs> well, it's a good thing they were crap. Yeah, seriously. They were crap eggs for sure. I will literally never use them. Um, I'm playing for real this time. I I, I guarantee you. you my stupid Twitch followers are going to come in here and watch this and be like, oh, look, it's Steve, you died again. <laughs> My stupid Twitch followers. <laughs> They're not stupid. I just, just like you, I just give them crap. Well, they give me 10 times more crap than I give them. <laughs> but uh, no, I just, I love them. They are so awesome. That I believe. They, they are the coolest people. Um, and, and it's like, and I tell them this all the time, and it's absolutely true because I'm like, Dude, if you guys didn't, it, it, the only reason I've given up the dream, I, I, I'm no longer trying to make streaming into any sort of big thing or even honestly this for that matter. I mean, if it happened, I would be pleased with it, but like, I don't have any illusions that I'm going to like be any kind of big time streamer or let's play or anything like that. Um, but it's like, I stream these play like really sad, depressing music when they're telling this. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. If we were recording the audio the way we used to, I could do that actually, but nope. <laughs> I guess I could lay it on top of this, but it would be crappy and I just can't bring, bring myself to edit a crappy video. I just can't do it. It's beneath you. It's, be it's beneath me. I'm too damn good, Adam. What the fuck? I'm like falling off the holes. Good thing I got a ton of potions. I don't see no sparkles. Um, yeah, there are no sparkles, so I should not be falling down these holes. <laughs> I only like sparkly holes. Holes. Uh, uh, 
<laughs> I don't know where that voice came from. I did it the first time. I was like, what the hell was that? And then I'm like, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. We were all freaked out. <laughs> it reminds me of those Michael Jackson sets. Did I talk about that on stream or was that just with you prior to getting in the video here? Now that I don't know. Okay, I was I'm, confident that it was like while we were recording, but now you've got me questioning it. I, I think it was before we started recording, so I'm going to tell this story uh, real quick, anyway. just in case. <laughs> so, just. I uh, the guy that I edit for uh, on YouTube, he curses a lot, <laughs> so I have to edit out his swears, otherwise there's no way we'd ever be able to make any money on YouTube. Um, uh so I, it, if, if I'm ever going to do anything, I'm going to try to do it in a fun and unique way. So I decided, I was like, one day I had this epiphany. I'm like, it would be so funny if like I edited over his swears with like Michael Jackson sounds, like all the weird sounds that he made in his songs and all that. So uh, I got like all his various hoos and hee hees and all that and stuff. Uh, uh, anyway, so today I, I decided, I was like, I'm going to do this. So I, uh, I looked on YouTube as I was like, I'm going to find some video. Oh shit. I'm going to find some videos where I can get these sounds. Well, lo and behold, there's an entire freaking video. That's like three and a half minutes long. Nothing but those sounds, like not even with music behind them. <laughs> so it was Sometimes like, Sometimes the internet just comes through in the clutch. Oh, exactly. I was like, this is everything i want and more the only th the only complaints i have is that it didn't have the shimon sound so i had to find that from a different video because that's like one so of i i had to pull that from a different video. i did yeah well it's like my favorite michael jackson song. Shimon. It's just, uh, so everything about it it's just and like, I'm surprised it wouldn't be on there because that's a pretty iconic isn't song. it i thought it yeah. was um i was pretty shocked that it was not available so anyhow um <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, uh, I thought I bought, oh, maybe I lost them when I fucked up last time. Oh, dang. I, I have more potions than this, but I probably lost them when I died before. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, so I, uh, yeah, those are the same. I can stack them. Nice. Um, oh shit. Okay. Look at this big green guy. Um, he's called the wanderer. If you spend too much time in a dungeon, he shows up. You cannot kill him. Uh, all he is is unrelenting death and destruction until you get out of the dungeon. So, like, right now, my the best thing for me to do would be just to get the hell out of here. Like, use my pendant, or if I really want to be brave, to go up and beat the boss. Um, but otherwise, that dude is coming after me Uh can he show up while you're fighting the boss? He can show up while you're fighting the boss. So at the same time of fighting the boss, you have to uh, avoid him. Avoid him as well. And there is again, there is no fighting him because like you cannot hurt him. Um, so, quick question: Do you want me to try to fight the boss while that guy's in the dungeon here? Absolutely, I do. Okay. See, this is the thing. I left him on the other side of the dungeon, so he does have to travel all the way over here to get to me. So Odds you just are, need to melt this boss down before he shows up. Yeah, if I can chop this guy, yeah. See, there we go. We already did it. Actually, that was kind of Nicely anticlimactic, done. wasn't it? <laughs> it was actually. I <laughs> like shit. Well, that did not work out the way that I wanted it. I to. was hoping you'd say that because I'm able to melt the boss very quickly, and it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, so you, you thought this was going to be really funny, Adam, didn't you? Well, fuck well, you. Well, jokes on you, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> asshole <laughs> i don't know why i love the way he said that i don't know why but it yeah i like that i was trying to make you sound like a distinguished british gentleman it did sound like that i uh, thank you i like that you know unlike unlike you know you, you i try to put you in a positive light <laughs> You're going to make people think that I'm like a real bitch to you. <laughs> he hits me, guys. He beats me. We were talking about you on stream the other day. And, um, oh, good. <laughs> and that was all positive. <laughs> it was like, I forget. Someone said something about me. Uh, you know how I pick on you in these videos sometimes. And it's not like nonstop or anything. <laughs> but I, I will admit that I do it plenty. But, uh, <laughs> but no, like... Um, <laughs> uh, I was like, I forget what I said, but I was something to the effect of, I really hope the people don't think I'm an 
actually being an ass to Adam because I love him so much. <laughs> it was like, you, you, you have like meeting him finally was like one of the greatest pleasures of my life. Like, so I, I really don't hate the guy and I really don't mean to make his life difficult. I just like screwing with him. That's it. <laughs> He's just fun to fuck with. Uh, he is, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, like if, the funny little things you say that I've I get to use that. in other people's videos. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, Adam, say something stupid. <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> It'd be funny if I took that and made it into, hey, Adam, say something stupid. <laughs> say something stupid. Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh but uh yeah anyways like talking about and empire was born <laughs> so we started talking about how i'm kind of a dick to you sometimes in these videos I'm like no i love him no <laughs> <laughs> he's not really mean to me folks no. legion of followers don't don't be letters askew oh shit okay that guy uh, oh dang there's two of them crap that little spider looking thing, like he's gonna dive bomb me here in a second. Yeah, I get it. You gotta like jump real quick. The sound effect was nice with that. Well, it's so weird because, like, I don't. Oh, hell yeah, I killed him from a distance. What, bitch? Um, it's hilarious because, like, those guys almost never show up. I like it's like, why did they design these? I think they're a really cool enemy, and like, you almost never see them. It's like, why would you do that? Make an awesome enemy, make it a part of the game, bro. I can't pick that up because I don't have enough room. Oh, I'm full of those things. How much are these? One ten. You need more dirty slots. <laughs> dirty <laughs> slots. Wait, what is that from? We were that. That's from a, a previous video, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. I thought we said something about dirty slots one time. I'm not. I mean, I won't say we did it. The loosest slot. I, whenever I hate that. Oh, I hate that expression. Like when about a casino or whatever. Like we got the loosest slots. These <laughs> slots are absolute sluts. <laughs> it's like no, ew. I, I don't. I just don't like that language about slot machines. And I think <laughs> it's unfair to them. I oh, like shit. my slots nice and loose. You know what I'm saying? The loosest slots. They have been used up. <laughs> it's like, no, fuck him. The, multiple people have punched their ticket on this slot. <laughs> <Punched their> <laughs> <ticket>. <laughs> I punched my ticket, Dad. <laughs> okay, how much is this? 330, 165. We're taking this full. We're taking this full, Georgie. We need um, more runes. More ru oh, I got some runes up here. Look at my gold runes. Oh, wait, no gold runes. <laughs> I thought the wrong things were runes. I don't know why I'm still going in here. I probably should just... Oh, shit. I probably should just head back home um, so we can actually <laughs> level up our stuff instead of me fucking up and dying, losing everything over and over again. I think you're doing a great job screwing up. I am. All right, let's go back. Well, we're going to take that. that away from you. Okay, we got our stuff now. Yay. I totally forgot. Why was I talking about the Michael Jackson sounds? There was a because reason. Because you use it to bleep over the curse words. Well, yeah, no, but it came up because of something that you had said. It was probably something stupid. Probably. That's a safe bet. Probably. <laughs> well, I guess we'll never know. <laughs> I guess we'll never know. I'll go back and I'll watch. Uh, I'll be editing this and I'll be like, fuck, that was what I was going to say. And then it's it like, I don't know. It's too late. Um, what is this fancy book? Um, Golem History One. Uh, wait, hold on. Golem History? History. 2750. I'm going to get this out of here. These aren't even worth selling. I don't even know why I'm doing that. All right. Uh, hardened steel. <laughs> I said uh, a while back, like, if I ever change the name of my streaming page from Retro Death, it's gonna, I'm going to start calling myself Rock Harding. Rock Harding? Yeah. You, Tanya's, like, rougher brother? <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> 
I have not bought any of these things yet, have I? No. Okay, so let's do. Oh, more shoot. Than knees. I can't do that because I don't have enough money because I bought too much stuff earlier. There seems to be a trend happening. Yeah, me like screwing up. <laughs> You're buying way too much of one thing and not having enough of the other. Um, let's. Put you need this... more runes. You need more runes. <laughs> the runes of Galenor. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! I didn't. I pushed the wrong button. So have you been keeping up with the Lord of the Rings show? I've not. I've not watched it. Still haven't watched it. No. I, th I think, like, I think I'm going to do like I did with Lost, like, and watch it after, like, all the, Just you know, the Google buzz has died down. <laughs> do what? Just read a Google review and say, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like... Everyone's like crapped on it so much that I'm just like, I almost don't want to watch it now because then I'll be like, oh, I don't know. I'll either be ticked off at the reviewers or I'll be like agreeing with them and hating it. I don't know, man. I'll probably still end up watching it. And you know what? I'll probably enjoy it. I'm pretty sure I probably There's will. nothing wrong if you do. Yeah. But then, like, everyone on the internet is going to tell me all the reasons why I shouldn't. And I'm going to be like, fuck you. Well, how are the people on the internet going to know that you watched it? They know, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they but... know. They know. Yong. We're selling stuff. Do, 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 do. Selling stuff. So I haven't even got to upgrade my shop at all yet. Because I keep doing stupid things and dying. I mean, one could argue that that is part of the game. <laughs> that is true. Well, it's, it's really more that it's part of the content for this video. Because I'm like, I want to show people all the stuff. And I'll tell you part of the reason why for that is that like, there is Jack out there about so many of these great indie games. And it's like, no one takes the time to really like explain, you know, stuff or like really dive into titles like this and stuff like that. Okay. I'll give you an example. Um, I, Oh, we talked about this actually on a previous video, but now you actually have context. Um, there's, uh, a girl, woman, I don't know how to refer to women that are my age. I guess they're women. I always want to say girl, but it's like, that sounds like she's 10. But so there's a woman uh, who uh, watches my stream. She's a regular. Well, she played this game, loved it. Well, I got really deep into the game before realizing how to do this insanely elementary thing. Now, like one of the guys in our chat was giving her crap about that. But I was like, hold on there, dude. I was like, Nowhere in the game, yeah, she missed this thing that like is like, how the heck did you miss that? But bro, there's nothing in the game that explains any of that shit. So it's like, you, you really can't falter for not getting it because there's nothing in the game that really makes that clear. You just kind of, unless you do a certain thing, you'll in you really- In this game here? Yeah, this game here. So um, what is it? What, what I can't remember. Thing? I can't remember what it was. It was some, but like I said, it was something like wow. really- Let's leave that in the air like the bad part that it is. Well, I also don't want to tell it and then have people be like, oh, man, what a fucking idiot. She didn't, couldn't figure out that thing. You know, it's like, I don't know. I mean, you're, well, I mean, yeah, we, you're not naming the person by names. Could be a fictional person. Well, she's going to watch this video because she's awesome. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to uh, embarrass her. I mean, but, I feel like you just went through a whole tirade of defending why it would be okay because it's not explained in the game. So therefore, why would anybody feel that way? Well, it doesn't matter because I still don't remember what it is. <laughs> but um, but no, basically, had my interest peaked. That's all I was saying. <laughs> well, screw your interest. <laughs> I was peaked, Steve. You I left me peaked. Peaked. Um, but like, okay, but what I'm saying is that like, there's so many things like that in this game that just do not get explained at all. So like that whole thing that I was doing before where you 
would fight all the waves of enemies. Hmm. There's nothing in the game that says, oh, if you go, if you keep doing this thing over and over and over and over and over again until you reach the end, you're going to get some really sweet shit and it's worth your right. time and you should absolutely do it. Um, so that's why I wanted to show everybody on the video um, because it's like, hey, you should do this thing because if you do, you'll get some really cool shit. You know, um, so like, is that something those are obviously not in every level? They're random when they show up. Right? Random. You, remember, you, you have to have a sparkly pit to be able right. to even have the possibility of doing that. Um, and then once you've done that, you have to complete all like five waves, I think it is. And so you would that would be like worth abandoning the run for you is to do that event. And then like once the event was over, then you would basically go back to town and sell all your shit and start over. It kind of depends. Yeah. I mean, if it's something where like, like if I've done that dungeon a bunch and like have basically acquired everything, it may not really be as big of a thing for me to do that. Um, um, but like right now, especially since we're early in the game, heck yeah, it's worthwhile. Um, okay. Buy, buy some potions. Some potions. I'm trying to be an objective person from the uh, from the audience and ask you the question. No, that's good. That's a good question. Um, but and and there, there's another guy. This is the, I'm gonna warn you ahead of time. There is no payoff to this story. I'm just trying to give you some perspective here. But like another guy in my chat. Um, basically the exact same thing. Like he gets deep into the game and realizes, oh crap, I could have been doing this all along. It was something to do with inventory management. Like there are hotkeys you can press to do. Oh, I remember what it was. I'll show you here in a second. Um, but it's like, again, there's nothing anywhere that explains how to do this. It, but it's also such a minute thing that it's like, why would there be, I mean, unless they made it part of the instructions in the game, which clearly they probably should but like there's not there's no reason for someone to make a youtube video hey did you know how to do this thing you know or to write right. an article on a web page about hey did you know you could do this because it's such a minute thing um okay my my little mirror here if i've got like a whole bunch of things in here i have to click drag 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 and then drop it in the mirror and then click again right. and then drop drag, 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 and then drop it in the mirror or you can do this and you just grab the green thing and just go pyom, 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 and then trash all the stuff you don't want in one go. But there's oh. nothing that explains that. It, but it's such a huge time saver and it makes the inventory management part of this game, which is a fucking slog sometimes, yeah. uh, so much more easy and pleasurable. What in the heck is that? Well, I do that like red thing I just picked up. Yeah, pleasurable is always good. What is so that like above the enemy's yeah. life bar, there's these like squares and some of them, the enemies have like three, some of them, have, you know, they're like that last guy had one. Is that what level that you're on or what? Life bars have squares. Good Lord that we keep getting these where the, the fountain is right next to the front door. Um, so like next time you fight an enemy that has their like their life bar, then above the life uh -huh. bar, there's these little squares that are different numbers depending on what you're fighting so i didn't know what that meant uh, see oh he has a little square you know what? i'll tell you what dude i never noticed that square i've played there this game a bajillion like times three, and I... like that one's got two. Oh, you know, you know what okay that makes sense see that how this propeller guy he's darker colored than the other propeller guy yeah. um that means he's like a higher level like he's gonna be harder to kill so I guess the two things means basically he has more health uh, technically than uh, the other guy, even though his health bar is the same size because he's a tougher it's a enemy. Decent size. It's an average size. It's an average size. I'm a jealous of my buddy's health bar. <laughs> we were in the locker room and I totally saw his health bar. Holy schlemiel. I've been jealous of my buddy's health bar. <laughs> Oish, big oish, that health bar, huh? Oh. Uh, that should be a skit on something. Pick a pleasure a horse. <laughs> I don't know why I made that guy so Jewish. <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> the voice that I did was very... Sorry. No, no, no offense intended there. <laughs> 
And this episode will also fail to upload. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, that's what it is. is it's the editing software. It's like, yeah, nobody needs to see this. <laughs> We're saving you from yourself. We're saving you from yourself. Did you hear about the uh, new iPhones uh, causing calling 911 when people ride roller coasters? <laughs> no. <laughs> that is so funny, though. Is that all there is yeah. to that story? I, I, yeah. <laughs> I was hoping that they I would. They can't all be home runs. Th that's true. Well, I, I, I found that little nugget so humorous. I was hoping there was more. I thought well, of, no, I'm, I, I'm not making fun of you for sharing that because I think that was a good story. I, I will, I'm glad that I know that because I found that very I think entertaining. That they're working on fixing it, obviously. Well, it's not like the Samsung phones that were exploding. Did I tell you that my daughter, her phone exploded? And it was one of those no. Samsungs. Now it was years down the road. <laughs> but yeah, um, it was freaking nuts. Uh, we were sitting there snuggled up on the couch um as i like to do with my girl when she'll do it she's when she's not busy talking on her phone with her friends and <laughs> being super cool being a teenager uh no but um uh we're sitting there and all of a sudden flames start shooting out of her phone and she That's panics and, oh and it was like it was freaky like it wasn't even just tiny little flames it was like satan is visiting our living room flames um so like she panics and kicks it across the living room and it goes skittering underneath the couch that her brother is laying on at the moment so, oh no so it's like oh you the light the fucking couch on fire this is what i'm thinking in my head but, but i'm like sonny get off the couch and he gets up there and then i like whip the couch across the floor with superhuman strength with uh, my testosterone kicked into a thousand percent exactly um uh yeah I, I had a heck of a health bar at that moment i uh, had a heck of a health bar. <laughs> health bar for days um no but uh wow. yeah it was flaming like crazy still and um like while i was running okay like simultaneously all these things are happening I shout at my son to get off the couch. He jumps off of the couch because he's panicked too. And he just freezes. He's like, what the heck am I supposed to do right now? Well, um, uh, I shout at him to get off the couch. Um, I go running across the living room to do something about this freaking phone that's exploding. And then I shout at my youngest son uh, to get the uh, dustpan. And... Um, he goes and gets the dustpan and I basically use that to scoop up the phone and just throw it out the front door. <laughs> and, uh, wow. it eventually stops flaming, uh, on our front porch. And, uh, that was some weird, wild stuff, George. So it was just sitting there. Nobody was using it. And all of a sudden it just burst into flames. Yep. <clears throat> That's crazy shit. What if it would have been in somebody's pocket when that happened? That's what I was about to say. He's like, um, what if that would have been in her pocket at school? Holy crap, it's like scary stuff, man. Yeah, I guess I probably should like sued somebody, but I don't know, man. I got stuff going on. <laughs> I got stuff going on. Man, that one guy with the projectiles got your number. A projectile dro Oh, he had dropped an egg down the freaking hole. You dick. All the good stuff goes down the hole, you know? I don't know, right? How the frick? Uh, man, I really... Oh, hold on. Let's let's do this. Yeah, see, this is the tedious part of this game, is the inventory management stuff. It's like, oh my gosh. I just, I just want to carry the things and kill the people. Where do the turds go? We want to know. I want to know where them turds go. I, something about the way that lady says that line is just so precious. Where do them turds go? Where do them turds go? <laughs> I need to edit that clip in. Actually, that's the clip I should have put in instead of the lethal poison one. Well, where do them turds go? 
Well, what about them genuine, turds? It's genuine curiosity, you know. It's something about them turds is I is just really what. I really want to know where the turds go. Where them turds go? We want to know. We want to know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, okay, I'll show you. So you can just take this thing and boop, and then do that. Oh, you know what I want to get rid of this thing? Boop. I do that too. Nothing in the world explains that to you anywhere. But good lord, how much easier did it make that process? It looks a lot easier. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. <laughs> Especially with your sound effects uh, booping. Boop. That Boop. was enjoyable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, give me them glass doodads. The doodads, Georgie. The doodads. Yeah, I feel like all the different drops in this game would get overwhelming after a while. The different drops? What do you mean? It's just all these different little things that, like, when you have no idea what they mean, it's just like, okay, so this one looks like an herb, and then there's a pile of rocks, and then this one's a shard, and then, then this one's a... It's just, like, a million different things. Oh, shit! Them. He's a mimic. Oh, damn you. Oh, and he lost all the cool shit down the hole. Can, is it going to give me? Oh, fucking hell. I lost all of that because the guy was a freaking moron and he jumped to his own death. Hmm. Um, oh, and I wish I had already made it to level three. I was going to show you something super, super cool. Um, I'll describe it maybe right now. And hopefully we can show you guys in the, you know, the next video or something because it ain't going to happen in this one. But... Um, basically this room here, I'll bring up the map. See this room that we're in, this room had a mimic in it. Uh, it looks like a treasure chest, but it tries to eat you. That's what a mimic is. It's, it's a very nerdy thing about as nerdy as runes. <laughs> Mimics are a definite thing in nerdy lore, uh, whatnot. In but, Dark Souls. Uh, there's nerd, there's mimics in Dark Souls. I think that's where they originated, I felt like. No, no, no. Mimics are like a D&D &D thing. Mm. Um, well, anyway, then, yes, they are in Dark Souls. So, anyways, they're, I guess, like I told you before, um, when I get to a certain level in this game, or like, actually, it's the next level of this dungeon. When I get to the next level of this dungeon, I get an item that allows me to open a portal back to the city uh, and be able to transport directly back to whatever room in the dungeon on whatever level I'm on. The, the thing about that is t there's a mimic egg that you can get. And, um, you know, I told you before the other egg, it hatches the little guy and they follow you around and stuff like yeah. that. And some of them are useful and some of them are crap. The ones I've got before I told you were crap. Well, the mimic egg is hands down the best egg because see how we got, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. So we have 20 slots in here uh, of storage. 20 dirty slots. 20 dirty slots, filthy slots. The loosest <laughs> slots in town. <laughs> These slots have major daddy issues. <laughs> they will do anything. No. Um, so you can uh, literally put anything in these <laughs> slots <laughs> and they have, <laughs> um, but no, the, uh, the whole, get your ass over here so I can fight you. Thank you. You stupid turd. Um, Oh, let me kill this fool before I try to finish this story. I don't want to die. Oh, come on. You, oh, you son of a bitch. How did he shoot me through the rocks? What the hell, Georgie? The game doesn't have to obey its own rules. Ha! Die, bitch. Okay, so the mimic uh, uh, egg gives you the mimic familiar that will follow you around. And it gives you, like, see, what is this? One, two, three, four times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this 28 slots in this treasure chest. When the when you have the mimic familiar, you get twenty eight slots of storage that just follow you around all the time. And on top double of that, double the slots. But yeah, even more than double, Georgie. Um, <laughs> but like, it's following you around all the time, just waiting to to like hold your stuff for you. And it attacks enemies. 
that are trying to attack you. It's like the greatest thing in the world. Oh, it's man, like that's definitely the win win. Hands down, the most useful item in this entire freaking game. And was there one in that one that committed suicide? Uh, no, there was not. The thing okay. is, you okay. have to kill uh, several mimics to be able to. Uh, oh, hell yes. You have to kill several mimics to be able to get the mimic egg. So there's a little trick. If I have that portal thing that I was telling you about before, yeah. just create a portal in the room next to uh, the room that had the mimic in it. Portal out to town, drop off your shit, and then come back in, kill the mimic. Portal back to town, drop off your stuff, kill the mimic, and come portal back in and kill the mimic. You just do that over and over again until you get the mimic egg. Uh, normally you can't get the mimic egg until pretty far into the game because you have to kill a lot of mimics to be able to get it. Well, not if you do this whole farming thing. So oh, wow. it's, uh, it, it's not a glitch. You're just exploiting something. Oh shit. You're exploiting this, the thing that's built in the game. Oh, he just dropped an egg for me right there. So I've been playing in my offline adventures been playing co uh co-op elden ring with uh randalorian oh yeah and uh you know we're both pretty experienced souls veteran players and oh stuff. he's and so, absolutely souls dude and uh, so we've been teaming up and you know with two of us together we we know where all the stuff is and we're just basically overpowered for where we are so it's like we just go in and just like annihilation time on these bosses and at one point i made a comment like i don't even feel bad uh for taking advantage of this game right now after what this <laughs> game has done to me emotionally right? you know like sometimes it feels good to get a, an upper hand so yeah, it's like screw you game i'm getting this one yeah so i feel like the mimic thing you know it's like you know what the game is going to give me one thing damn it you know yeah so you can't feel bad about it <laughs> i'm getting this one game yep yeah sorry i'll tell you what man and that, and that's the thing is it's like it's all stuff that you can just learn by playing the game that one i actually discovered on reddit like i do not use reddit but this is another either this is another thing of the sickness of playing moonlighter though is that like it got me checking reddit because uh, Again, where the heck are you going to find out how to do any of this crap? Because there's nothing online that explains it. And the game sure as hell doesn't explain it. So, um, oops, I need my push. So Reddit is a great place to go to learn that stuff. And that's where I learned it was from Reddit. Um, so yeah. I mean, I don't have anything against Reddit. I feel like it's a very knowledgeable play. I don't know why I don't use it. I just don't. I... <laughs> you know, and I, I think I sound really stupid saying this, but that's okay. I don't care what anyone thinks. Um, but like, you freaking um, <laughs> Reddit just looks confusing to me. <laughs> and every yeah. time I go to it, I'm like, I don't even know what I'm looking at. This is like the worst user interface, and that's because Reddit is for like ultra nerds. Um, with lots of runes. With lots of runes in their belts uh we need to finish this episode all right guys we're, we're we're gonna come back and we'll we'll do some more of this we'll we'll play some more after this okay i'm really horrible at ending these episodes adam bye bye <laughs> Don't, 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 don't.